It's a good question. It's the one that a lot of Real Madrid fans have been trying to answer themselves uh, today. Can I just go back quickly to Allegri? Something doesn't quite add up here because a lot of people were suggesting Allegri's being lined up to the Real Madrid job. The day Zidane goes, Allegri is supposedly being lined up to join Inter after two years having not had a job. Something doesn't necessarily make sense because a lot of people were suggesting that Allegri was in pole position to take over at Real Madrid. Why did Zidane go? Many reasons, but really, he likes to be in charge. He likes to be the boss. And I think there were certain things that he might have been charged to do next season, which he didn't fancy doing it. And if he doesn't fancy doing it, he doesn't do it because he's Zidane. Exactly. He's kind of holding all the cards in each all. So what happens next for Zidane? You kind of think if Dijon locks things up in the summer, France... Yeah, yeah. France, without a doubt, would be at some point his team and he will get there whether he's in 2022, 2024. We'll have to see. I think Deschamps still has a few years in him and certainly his relationship with the head of the French FA, Noël Le Graet, is so strong that it's hard to see Deschamps leaving anytime soon unless there's a big disaster or unless he doesn't fancy anymore, which I don't think will happen. So Zidane, that, that will come for Zidane but a, a bit further down the line. Before that, I think it'd be interesting interesting to see the dream of him in Marseille of course uh, although they're happy right now with Sampaoli I think Juventus at some point could be appealing to Zidane I'm not sure if the, uh, the other around is, is true as well but I think he will have other options but he's in such a strong position that he will be able to choose and even if he doesn't want to do anything while waiting for the France job he, he won't have to do it uh, it's quite the eclectic mix when you take a look at the names that have been linked to the Real Madrid vacancy now Antonio Conte odds on Five to four on Pochettino, of course. Why not stick him in there as well? Two to one. Raul then at six. Uh, Whacking Love at ten. Uh, Xavi Alonso at sixteens. Um, who are they going to get, Phil? Uh, Antonio Conte is odds on for a reason. I think he's very, very highly fancied now. Raul, I think if they were going to go for Raul, he would have been announced ready. Uh, they've got a ready-made Zinedine Zidane replacement. Zidane, of course, was the Real Madrid Castilla manager. He got promoted to the first team. Did rather well. Um, Raul is the current Real Madrid Castilla manager, a legend of the club, much like Zidane was. If they were going to go for him, I think they would have done it already, maybe. But he's there. He's in the background. He could be an option. I'm not a betting man. Xavi Alonso at 16-1 to 1 could be an appealing option. He's done a sensational job uh, with Real Sociedad B this season. Obviously, he was working for Real Madrid last season. He was in charge of their under-15s. He knows the club, which is really, really important when it comes to Real Madrid. But yeah, Antonio Conte is the, is the favourite and probably rightly so. Oh my goodness. If you're going to make a fly on the wall documentary, oh. Gab, Conte at Real Madrid would be amazing, wouldn't it? Well, it would blow up within, <laughs> what, a week? <laughs> Well, he was on the verge for signing Real Madrid uh, with Real Madrid before, of course. Um, look, I would find this absolutely uh, extraordinary because it's less than 24 hours ago uh, that Conte negotiated his exit with Inter, where he received half of his final year's salary, the one that he's not taking because he's walking out, uh, in severance, right? So he gets $12 million in severance for, 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 for agreeing not to go coach another Serie A team. And look, and now he walks into the Real Madrid job, supposedly. Uh, to me, Conte to Real Madrid makes absolutely zero sense from Real Madrid's perspective. Because, you know, it's not just the club's financial situation, but you're also getting a guy who can be a colossal pain in the rear end to the club if he doesn't get what he wants. You can just ask people at Inter, you can ask people at Chelsea, you can ask people at Juventus about that. He will go and work with the players he has and make them better and make the team better. He's very good on the training ground. But the question is, um, you know, it can, can, can Florentino Perez find the money somewhere uh, to go and, and spend the, the one, 150 million, 200 million that, that Conte is going gonna, is gonna to want to spend? Otherwise, he starts moaning because, frankly, that's how he rolls. He, this is a person who, who kind of, you know, lives in a permanent state of, of siege where it's him and the players against the club, and he does a good job when he persuades the club to go and spend money for players he likes. And then later, you know, he might not like them, like Kolarov or Alexis Sanchez or whatever, but that's a whole other issue. This is how he, this is how he, he, he rolls. Um, you know, I'm not going to say it's like having Jose Mourinho Mark II at your club, um, but I, it's not far off that. And, and often it's without Mourinho's charm too. So 
I, I would find this absolutely extraordinary if, if Real Madrid went down that road at this moment in time, at the juncture that Real Madrid are at right now. Phil, I can see you pulling a face. Is that Gab's collar or opinion? Uh, a bit of both, really. Um, I, I, think, I think it's opinion because a lot of Real Madrid fans would actually quite like Jose Mourinho, Mark, too. I know since leaving Real Madrid, things necessarily haven't panned out how, he's, how he might have thought of, but he left a mark here. And, he, and there's a lot of Real Madrid fans that would like, that like the sound of that. Also, by the way, there's people that think that the squad needs a, a good clean-up and Antonio Conte is the, is the man to do it, the man to whip them into shape and to get rid of some people that might not necessarily be useful next season. And I think just by saying the words Antonio Conte and appointing Antonio Conte, you could get rid of two or three players immediately because probably quite a few might not fancy playing with him next season. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.